You can play this, or you can play this. You can play like that, or you can play like that. What's going on guys? Today we got a spicy one for you. First quick, there is a hidden dynamite somewhere in this video. Yes, it's hidden. When you see it, comment with the timestamp below and tell me the game you don't own but wish you did and you're automatically entered in for a chance to win that game. You must be a subscriber to play, so join the Demolition Crew. The creators of Demio gifted me and my favorite British Australian VR reviews a code so we could try this out and tell you what we think. Now, first of all, you gotta know that I don't play games like this. I am not a board game guy, and this typically isn't my type of game. So let's see what somebody like me thinks of a game like this compared to somebody like Tony from Fiara Reviews who loves these kind of games. Let's get into it. Your quest is simple. Fight your way down to the bottom floor and destroy the terrible keeper lurking there. Only then can the trapped elven spirits be released. Okay. Let's go, boys. I think it's your turn first. Yeah, just walk to the door to open it. Sweet. All right, not many enemies. Which is good. You probably should best to go first. You're the, the tank, so. Okay, done. Bad. Yeah, I won't go too far ahead. Let's see what the monsters do. Oh, they're moving. They're moving. Oh, I have some cards oh. too, huh? Yeah. Okay. I got a healing potion, whirlwind attack, piercing throw, repair armor. But I guess I'm, I'm not close to any of these guys yet to do anything, so you gotta move. Okay, which guy should we go for first? I reckon this this dude with the double swords look pretty. Uh, he looks pretty bad. Assuming he's gonna move up. All right, I'm gonna um, move here. Hopefully, he can't get me, and I might fire off a spell. Uh, nice. I use this one, zap. Pretty weak. It says he's got one one attack, which I think means he just loses one health. But um, we'll see. Yeah, so pretty much did nothing. Nice. Ready. But... <laughs> okay. Okay. Spinning sweep. Damages all adjacent enemies. I'm gonna try that. Oh, I can't. I can only hit this little guy. Did I play it? Oh, I see. Um, drop it on top of yeah. who you wanna. Well, I'm gonna. I'm, I might save it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save it. Do a piercing throw. Oh, you got, uh, it went through him. Nice. Hit the thing behind. Oh, did it? Okay, cool. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I got another one. Okay. okay mm-hmm. So that's just a regular attack there. Nice one. Oh, look at this guy. Retreating. Let's, um, hunt him down. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go after him. Just do a regular attack. I think it's like a bit of, oh, mix back up. Nice. I've got one more action point, so. See that thing over there? Um, you can use your, actually, I can use my controller to draw line and things. That's a uh, rat's nest. So I think that keeps spawning rats continuously, so we have to destroy that pretty quick. Oh, okay. Um, okay. So I'm not sure. Okay, let's, let's get to it. Yeah. I'm just gonna pick up we, the we, we got well we have another one down here too. Monster Oh yeah, I see that. I see that. Oh, weird. Whoa. Oh I did oh I can tilt the board with my control stick and messed it up. Oh yeah? Weird. Okay, hold on. Weird. Okay, we're better. Okay. 
Yeah, there's two rat nests. What's this guy? Two or two? I'm just gonna take this guy out. You'll probably kill him. I will smite you. Okay. Operation Rat Nest, is that the plan? I think that's it, yeah. Okay, I will. Okay, I'll, I'll come down the stairs. I'll come around so I'm not... Taking off the other guys. Alright, I'm going to um, just do a melee attack. Oh, crit. Nice. Nice. Alright, one more attack, I think. And hopefully, yep. we can finish that one off. Oh, kidding me. Oh, oh, Whoa. Kidding me. Oh, what? I had babies. <laughs> <laughs> no. We kept coming. <laughs> or I wonder, can I do it? Oh, here, I'll do it. Can you get past me on the staircase? I'm not, sure. not yet, but I wonder if I can do any sort of card thing. No. Can can you move anywhere? Well, here I'll move up one. Behind you. All right. Um, I might move. Yeah, I'll probably move behind you. So you can take the <laughs> take the damage, and I might um, <laughs> I might I've got an area of effect spell here that might be quite good. So I've got a fireball. I think I can only use it once. So but why not? I'll just. Uh, Seems like a good spot. Yeah, yeah. Oof. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh guys, guys just keep coming. Yeah. What? What? Oh lord. Okay. <laughs> Oh that crap! It's not. It's not good. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Made my guy drunk. <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> what are you doing, man? You're supposed to be protecting me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wonder if there's a way to, a way to like kind of cheat the dice in this, though. You know? Yeah. Ah, uh, good question. Let's try it. Um, kind of lightly drop it what you want it on. <laughs> so I don't know what that oil lamp does. I reckon that might explode. So maybe if I fire a spell at it, that might... Um... Save that. Save that maybe for this other rat nest we have by the stairs here. Oh, what's that? Save it. How do you draw? What do you do to draw? So I think you just use the trigger. You point and use the trigger. Not Is that working? There we go. No. Oh, it's working. Oh, you see stuff? Yeah, I see. I see like a line. Oh, okay. It's weird. I can't see. It. Okay. Yeah, there's a rat nest down here. So maybe save those cards for these guys. Yeah. Yeah. You mean you mean this one? You mean this one right here? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, definitely. What what I might yeah, three out of eight. I've got this card, so some cards, this one I'm using here, is a spell, but this is one replenishes. Some of them don't, but this one does. Okay. So if I use this one, it will refresh after the next turn, it should do. Cool. And that way I can keep my distance as well. Boom. Oh. Look at that, we got it. Foul creature. Okay, cool. That one didn't have babies. Yeah. <laughs> Third kid. I was thinking, oh, sh yeah, I should have um, saved that lamp for the babies when they come out, but that didn't happen, so that was good. All right. Where to next? Um, okay, we got, we got two hounds, two hounds on the stairs and a treasure chest. Oh, this is a pretty big map, too, holy. Yeah. Oh, I guess, we're, yeah, we're supposed to get a key, and then we're supposed to go over to here. That's it. And there's three... Right, that's the whole goal. There's three dungeons. Um, so that'll move us on to the second one. I might move us over to the gold cool. pile here. My turn, which means monster turn. Okay. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attack 
for the treasure chest. What did I get? I got a... Potion. It makes you invulnerable for three turns. Oh, and I got something too. So it looks like you share loot when you get it as well. Oh, so we share these ones? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Perfect. Gold. Did you get some gold nice. as well? Do we share gold? I think so. I'm at 100. I'm at 158 for gold. Yeah, same. I kind of cool. like it though okay. when you when you get to when it's like the first person gets there gets the gold. It makes it fun. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but then then you get the uh, you get the one teammate. You can clearly see who's in it for themselves. You know? Yeah. Yeah. All right, your turn, man. Oh yeah, crap. Yeah, I forgot. All right, let's go through here. Carl, all excited about the gold. That's right. Yeah. Okay, nice. You're flanking them. I got the dogs are picking on me. I got. I got this guy coming up. Okay, let's do something. Well, I'm at 6 out of 10. I think I'm still okay with health. Yeah. And we do have a healing potion each, I think, that we start with. Okay, yeah. Um... So maybe I'll just go for an attack here. Come on, double swords. Okay. I wonder to see if I can just set it down. No, no, it flies up. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> double swords. Okay, what if I put double swords at the bottom and then drop it? No. <laughs> ah, my spells. No. Okay, I need backup. <laughs> Careful, you got this, this, this guy coming behind yeah. you. He looks. Uh, this troll. I think you can pick these up, and yeah, it gives you the stats. So he's he's got eight hit points uh, and a attack of four. So he's pretty tough, I think. I'm going to run into here then, and um, yeah, come join me. Let's take out these guys, and then we can take out that guy together. All right, I reckon I can take out a rat. I mean, the wizard's probably not that tough, but he should be tough enough to. Yeah, <laughs> Nice. You dare fight me? Ah, <laughs> oh, we've, we've got a card. I think the more monsters you kill, it fills up this card meter, and then you receive a, a card once it's full. Oh, okay. Oh, it's me again, yeah. <laughs> <G> yep. <laughs> <No worries. laughs> All right, just a standard attack. Nice. Oh, I'm gonna need to use the health soon. Whoa! Oh, a door open. Ah. Ah. Okay. Let's just. Whoa! Look at this dude. Okay. Yeah, I think I need to use a health though. Mm-hmm. The good thing, I think, the health doesn't use an action point, so you can use it and still have two left. Oh, my whirlwind. Oh, no, I'll reach him. Okay, cool. Double sword. I, <laughs> I just got out of Demio. I played a total of eight hours. I played two four-player matches that each took 
three hours long. Even when we got better at the game the second time, it still took three hours. I played, which you just saw here in the footage, I played with my buddy Tony and that took two hours and we both died. So it is almost impossible for beginners, I'll say for beginners to play in a two player mode. It's, it's very hard. With four players, it's a lot easier, but it goes a lot slower but they've worked in single player modes, they've worked in uh, skirmishes, and you can jump into other people's games. So there's a little bit of everything for everyone. I highly recommend if you're gonna go play with some strangers that you do play a couple games on your own first, just to familiarize yourself. Now, the one thing I appreciate is the tutorial in this game. It really takes less than 10 minutes. They give you the basics and then they set you free to discover on your own. But at the same time, you have to learn the hard way. But the good thing about that is that when you learn the hard way, you often remember your mistakes more and you're less likely to repeat them. Although that can't be true for everybody I played with because a couple of guys made a couple of mistakes that killed a couple of our teammates, but it all was fun no matter what. So would I recommend this game for the price? Now, when this game first came to the store, I found it to be a little expensive, but I talked to the developers and they assured me that there's gonna be loads and loads of free updates. So I feel like in a year from now, this game is gonna possibly be worth twice the price that you're paying for it now. So if you can hang in there, wait for the updates. The first one, something to do with about a Rat King coming this summer, um, that's gonna be fun and it's gonna keep it fresh. Now, if you're the type of guy who loves these games in real life, and I've talked to a couple guys who have their own boards and the boards are like $200 to $2,000, this is heaven for them. This is their characters coming to life. This is them playing with their friends during a pandemic when they all can't get to play around a physical board. This game is a lot of fun and the potential is huge. The developer behind this game, the game studio, they have a proven track record for supporting their titles, rolling out updates and I couldn't say more nice things about them. But that's all for today. You wanna to see the full review, head over to my buddy Tony at VR Reviews channel, and he has that coming out today as well. He'll give you a more detailed look at it. Um, this was just the gameplay video. But yeah, I hope you had fun. I had a blast. Um, I, I played way more than I thought it was gonna play. I definitely recommend you check it out. If the price is an issue for you, I feel like you're gonna get your money's worth in the long run. Some people said it was too easy. I feel like it's the perfect level for me. Like it took us three hours, even when we got better at the game. We think we have it figured out and we're still ready to dive in again. Now that's because I'm playing with friends. If you're playing on your own, you might have a completely different experience. I still have to try that out more. But you know what? It all depends who you're playing with. You could go meet some amazing strangers. You could befriend them and who knows where that could lead. You could get a whole squad before you know it. All right, guys, that's it for today. Did you find the Hidden Dynamite? If you did, be sure to comment and subscribe because you're entered in for a chance to win the game of your choice. I'll be giving away games very soon in one of these videos. And if you like this video, check out this video up here. This video is awesome. It shows how I'm giving away $50,000 in games and quest systems. Seen that one? Check this one out there. That's all for now, Demolition Crew, until the next one. Bar. Bar. Bar.